Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So today we got a, um, a real quick one. Uh, what we're going to do is some people were kind of interested in this little tailstock turret device here. So um, what I thought I'd do is uh, take it apart so the guys can look at the insides um, and see what it's made out of. Um, it's actually this is kind of a good little, you know, I mean, you can buy one obviously, but uh, this is kind of a good little project. Uh, you got to do some decent work. Um, it's, it's a little mechanism, so there's some uh, springs and levers and making things uh, kind of go together and fit properly. So, uh, and it's small and not too complex, so it's achievable. So it's kind of a nice project. Um, William Wigman uh, suggested, actually had a really good suggestion, is, you know, I mentioned before it has these little bushings that go in here to hold different tools. He said, well, just get, get a bunch of chucks. Just get a bunch of Jacob's chucks and stick them in there. And it's brilliant. Um, and uh, it makes it eminently more useful. So if these were small chucks here, it'd be easy to swap the tools in and out and reconfigure this. And, well, I can personally say that if this thing had chucks in it, um, I'd probably use it a lot more actually, so uh, it's the bushing thing that's kind of a drag. Um, so anyway, thanks William for that, that's a, that's a good suggestion. So let's, uh, let's pop over here uh, to the surface plate here and uh, get a light on this thing. And uh, um, I haven't taken it apart yet, so we'll take it apart and uh, have a quick look at it. Okay, so uh, we, got it, uh, we got it over here, and this is the Model A. Uh, and these are five ace holes here, and I guess they Enco still sells these. I sells these. I didn't look up the price, uh, and I, I have no idea uh, how much they are. Um, I mean, if you want one right away, just buy one. But uh, I think it would be a fun project to make um, for people that are uh, that are so inclined. So that looks like just a lock nut there. Now I haven't taken this apart, so I don't really. I'm just kind of winging it here. Looks pretty straightforward to me. Okay. Right, so we got a washer, we got a nut. If we're lucky, oh yeah, this will just come right apart. Well, looks pretty damn simple to me. <laughs> I don't think it gets much simpler than that, guys. It says 72 on it, I don't know why it has a 72. So that's just a solid piece there. Um, and for those of you that are wondering, I measured the angle before for somebody else and that's 45 degrees between here and the center line. Um, so that's just a solid piece. It's got some shallow counter bores in it. Okay. Um, let's just set that aside over there. Then we got this, which is basically a solid piece. Now this, well, there's nothing fancy there either, really. It's just nicely turned. It's got a nice finish on it. That's why I'm looking at it closely. And then we have, uh, we have this little uh, detent spring here that catches these holes. Um, okay, so do I want to get into taking that apart? What, what, is, what needs to happen there? Okay, so there's a pivot pin right there. What it looks like to me. Does it go all the way through? Oh, that pivot pin's not in a very happy place. Doesn't look there's no clear shot through that thing. Let's uh, grab Stan, Stan's funky old rag here. Get a look at that thing. Yeah, I think I can see the pin. Um, so it's got a pivot pin right about there. Okay. And then there's a spring in a little pocket pushing down this way. And then there's the uh, the retracting pin there. So it's just a linkage basically. And then this bit here, the, the number one Morse taper, it's got a tapered pin uh, securing that in. So it's probably a um, either straight on there or another taper going into that with a taper pin. And um, once again, the, the, the exit of the pin is in a really lousy place to knock it out. Um, and I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm going to go that far with it. So, um, if guys are squeaking at me, then uh, I might go a little bit farther. But uh, I think that's about it. Um, 
All right, let's let's put her back together here. I think it's pretty okay. All right. So let's see. So the bottom's threaded here. Okay. So what you can so what happens is is when you uh, when you put this fastener in, you take out all the uh, you take out all the play that you want to take out of, right? So you get this just as tight as you want here, making sure it'll still, okay, that's probably a little too tight. Well, I don't know, it's not bad. I'm just going to back it up just a whisker. Okay, that's better. And then this is just a lock nut here, and it keeps, uh, keeps that in position. So let's snug that up. A little too tight. Let me see if I can just back that just a little a whisk. Probably sliding out of the frame. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, there it is. Um, put some comments up. Uh, your comments are always appreciated, and uh, like the video if you like it. And if you want me to go a little farther with the disassembly, uh, I might be swayed into doing that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.